You probably know we've reported we've seen a bit of a housing boom in Detroit over the past several years. But we've seen prices skyrocket too, meaning lower priced homes are getting out of reach. Local 4 Business Editor Rod Maloney is live in Indian Village tonight with a look at how one developer is working with the city and the state to combat this problem. Rod. Well, Kimberly, Devin, take a look at this. This is what you might call the modern day cinder block. Now it's flat, it's cement, it's very heavy, but it's also going to be essentially the walls and even the foundation of a home they're going to build right here in Indian Village. 3D printing is slow and steady. It's existed in manufacturing for 30 years, just not in the construction business. That is, until now. Tom Woodman runs a nonprofit in the worker shortage era, saying we need to rethink everything. We need to look to other industries that have higher productivity and emulate that. We need to take up the tools of advanced manufacturing and apply them to home building. We need robots. This is a nine-year-old used automotive robot. Woodman, through his Citizens Robotics firm, repurposed it to build a home they'll construct in pieces and snap together much like a Lego. They claim that the new home will go up faster, come more energy efficient, reduce construction waste, and be stronger against storms. But more than anything... We would expect to be able to beat convention, conventional construction by 15% in really a very short amount of time, a year, two years. There are some unique and interesting finishes they'll offer new homeowners. You can paint concrete, after all. They also 3D printed the 1,000 square foot, two bedroom, one bath homes floor plan in miniature to show what the finished product's eventually going to look like. Brian Cook of Develop Architecture is excited. It's a subtle design, and, and the reality is that we don't want it to distract from a neighborhood in the sense of like, oh, there's this thing, like a container or something like that. It looks like a container, right? We want it to feel like it's a part of the neighborhood. So it won't look much like this at all. And when they do this, they bought the land from the land bank here in the city of Detroit. But more interesting is the fact that there are a number of other vacant lots here. And the intent here is to essentially build a whole group of homes in here. They're thinking that maybe they could sell for a quarter of a million dollars and over time, go down from there. They'll have, they're going to, by the way, finish it come spring. Reporting live in Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. We can print houses now. That is just <laughs> wild to it's me. Amazing. Yeah, it really is amazing. All right, Rod, yeah. thank you.